Parents uh, help us develop from a, from a young age, from infancy to adulthood, right? They help this process, they facilitate this process. But by the time the parents get old, we're helping them facilitate them into death. They help us facilitate us into life, and by the end, they the, we're helping, as, as children of our parents, we're helping our parents uh, maneuver into the next chapter of death. Now, here is the question. How well could you as a person really be there for your parents if you didn't stand up for yourself as a child, as a teenager, as an adult, if you didn't stand up for what you believed in and did what you wanted to do in spite of what they thought was best for you? If you didn't stand up for them, you didn't stand up for what you believed in and you didn't become your own person, my question is to all those kids out there who are afraid of, of disappointing their parents, afraid of not standing up for themselves in, in, in spite of their parents' tyranny, or just in spite of what their parents' ideology and their traditions, right? You want to respect that. I get that. But how much of do you sacrifice of yourself, of what you want, of your being, of who you could be, how much of that do you sacrifice in order to satiate your parents' never-ending desire for this ideal person that they want you to be. Because guess what? You'll never attain it. You'll never attain this perfect idea of what your parents, or it doesn't even matter, parents, of whoever wants you to be. You'll never. Because it's this unlimited standard that is never filled because it's unquantifiable. You get the degree, then what? You get the master's, then what? You get the PhD, then what? You get the job, then what? You become the doctor, then what? You make more money, then what? You get the house, then what? You get children, then what? It keeps going, it never ends. You're living a life for somebody else. But what if you didn't? What if instead you stood up for yourself? You were, I wish, I wish every, every fucking teenager could hear this. If you stood up for yourself as a kid, as a child, as an adult even, adults living in their parents' house and still getting their, their parents are still having power over them unnecessarily. What if you stood up for yourself then and now in the present and you had the, the tough talk conversation and you had the conflict and you stood up for yourself and you're like, no, you said no. I'm going to live in service to truth in, for myself, not for you. And so you had the conflict in the meantime. And it's not good, it's not fun, it's terrible. You may not speak for weeks. They may disown you. Temporarily maybe, permanently, worst case scenario. But more often than not, you go through the conflict, you get through it, okay. So, they're not as proud as you when they talk to you at the dinner table or with their family. They're not as, they're, they, they don't speak about you as highly with their friends, okay. For now, for now. Maybe they lose a bit of respect, for now. Maybe they're a bit more upset and angry at you, for now. But just wait, wait until that time where they come to need you. Now you're able to help them fully because you've become your own person. Because you've become your own person, because you aimed upwards towards at your own truth. Now you there is no resentment deep inside you. Because you've become your own person in spite of what they what they wanted you to be. So now you have eyes wide open, you have heart and soul wide open, and you're willing and and and, and excited and, and giving compassionately with gratitude and love to your parents who need you at this time in their life as they age and they're growing into their, their elderly stages of life and they're losing their minds and their, their, their and their body. But you're there for them because you don't harbor resentment. Because you stood up for what you believed in decades ago. But imagine if you didn't. Imagine if you didn't. Do you think you really would have been be able to be there for them? As effectively as if you didn't stand up for yourself when you were younger? I don't think so. I really doubt it. Because that resentment is a poison. Stand up for yourself. Seek your truth in spite of what anybody else wants you to.